I have no higher honor as president than to serve as the Commander-in-Chief of the United States Armed Forces. And I truly have no greater pleasure than to award the Commander-in-Chief's Trophy for the first time in 21 years to the Army Black Knights. Congratulations. <laughs> Mike Pompeo, and he's been busy. General, he's been very busy. He's been a busy guy. How's everything going? Good? I think better than people even understand, right? Good. Good job, Mike. Oh. Better than people even understand, right? Good. Good job, Mike. A warm welcome to you look at the world. By the way, we are respected again. Is that right, General? We are respected again at the highest level. You can see what's going on. You see a big difference. There's a big, big difference. And, fellas, we just got approved $700 billion this year, $716 billion for next year. And that's for you and the armed forces. And we've never had that before. Stronger than ever before. That's what's happening, right? Is that a correct statement, General? I see there's one very happy general sitting right there. I know that each of you will serve with the same commitment, determination, and character that have earned you distinction on the gridiron. You will be courageous members of the long gray line that stretches back to the earliest days of our republic. You will be part of the five proud branches of the United States Armed Forces, Marines, Air Force, and the Coast Guard. And we're actually thinking of a sixth, and that would be the Space Force. Does that make sense? The Space Force, General. You probably haven't even heard that. I'm just telling you now. This is perhaps because we're getting very big in space, both militarily and for other reasons. And we are seriously thinking of the Space Force. And you'll join the greatest force for peace and justice the world has ever known. You will keep us safe. You will keep us strong. You will keep us free. And thank you for your service, and go Army.